Well, tonight, a David Goldstein investigation. Questions being raised about a city employee who got his second DUI after crashing a city truck. And David's here with the story. And David, you say that he's still on the job. Still on the job, still driving trucks for the city. <laughs> now, this happened in the middle of the night while the employee wasn't even on duty, and he may not have even had permission to use the truck. But three months after the incident, the city has taken no action. This is what's left of a truck rented by the city of L.A. that you paid for. How did it happen? You had a DUI and you flipped it on the freeway. That's right. This sanitation worker, Adrian Corrales, who normally drives a small garbage truck, was charged with DUI after crashing this truck on the freeway at 3 o'clock in the morning. City officials say his normal hours are 6 a.m. to 2.30 in the afternoon. Did you have permission to take that truck? He that wouldn't answer. From our drone, you can see what's left of this $50,000 truck. It was rented by the city of L.A. We found it now in a city salvage yard. The city seal is attached right over the Hertz logo. You can see the airbags deployed, tire missing, damage beyond repair. And since the city is self-insured, taxpayers will have to foot the bill and reimburse Hertz. The cost, $28,000. It's one of millions of dollars of trucks that the city rents to supplement its fleet. But we found in an investigation last year, some employees are driving the rentals for their own use, like this man, Francisco Pena. Did you get a massage and you use the city truck? City officials say Pena no longer works for the city. What right do you have because you're an employee? You just get to grab a, a truck that's rented by taxpayers? In Corrales's case, the accident happened on the 5 freeway back in April. He allegedly flipped the truck, then slammed into the safety barrels on the side of the road. Court records show he had a blood alcohol concentration that was 0.15% or more. That's almost twice the legal limit. He's due in court next month to enter a plea. And it's not his first DUI. Corrales is charged with driving under the influence of alcohol within 10 years of another DUI offense. That one happened in 2012 before he worked for the city. This one occurred three months ago, but guess what? Last week we saw Corrales in his city sanitation uniform, still on the job, still driving trucks. And how is it that you're still working at sanitation? He wouldn't answer any questions, so we tried a sanitation official. He's still employed for sanitation. Sanitation CFO Lisa Mowry confirms that Corrales is still driving trucks. She wouldn't say if he had permission to borrow that now destroyed truck overnight and wouldn't say much else. Is Mr. Corrales under an investigation by the department? That's a personal matter, and it's not subject to public disclosure. So she admitted the department is looking into it and doesn't see anything wrong with Corrales continuing to drive trucks for the city while awaiting trial on his second DUI offense. So what you're saying is the city of Los Angeles employee can take a truck, flip it on the freeway with a .15 blood alcohol content, his second DUI, and go right back to work? Our employees are... Um, have due process. You ought to be fired, period, end of sentence. Political watchdog Jack Humphreyville says Corrales continuing to work could lead to a lawsuit if he gets in another accident, and that could end up costing the city and taxpayers millions. All you need to do is have some guy driving a city truck when he's schnonked uh, and getting, getting into an accident and really hurting somebody. Uh, you know, that's going to be a big ticket. You got a DUI and you flip the city truck. You're going to pay taxpayers back for that truck, man? Why don't you say anything? Did you now, the city adds that since DMV hasn't taken away his license, then he's free to drive any city trucks. But some people say at the very least, they could have uh, had him do other things other than driving until this investigation is completed.